B. <coughs> Give me a second for the card to come. Five, four, three, two. Hey, my cyber babies, you're watching the Mother Love Show right here on your YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel. In the studio with me is Dr. Letitia Wright. She has been doing a television program called The Right Place for 17 years now. She's a renowned author. She is an international speaker and helps people with their business because she wants to see us all succeed. Thank you so much as we continue our conversation about crowd funding mm -hmm. because everybody wants to you know please give me some money for my project my brother died my sister got cancer oh lord and you see so many of these causes and you mm -hmm. want to give to them and you want to help people become successful mm -hmm. as a uh, person who is contributing to the tribe what should we look out for because you know, and what happens if you don't meet your quota if you say you need fifteen thousand dollars for a project and you get to thirteen thousand dollars okay so it depends on the website you're using okay every website has its own rules so when you sign up for one of the websites you must 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 read the agreement okay, okay read the fine print read the fine meet, read the fine print this is not the time to just check i agree and keep it pushing <laughs> because you don't you don't mm -hmm. know so kickstarter for example if you do not reach your goal you don't get the money they give the money back yes they give okay. the money back to everyone it's very hard to get your tribe back on track after you've had a failed crowdfunding project. Oh. so the psychology behind it uh, i had a friend of mine dave lacani he's a specialist in per persuasion as well as other things he was explaining to me the mind process of people and why they won't get back on board we don't have time to go into that but trust me uh, you can look up Dave Lucani and his books and read about it but you can't get people back on board from a failed crowdfunding project so you want to be very careful if you use Indiegogo you can do an all or nothing thing or you can get what you whatever you raise sort of like Riddick you keep what you kill no, so, okay. you, <laughs> so if you raise the 13,000 Instead of the 15000 you could keep it. Okay. Now, I like for entrepreneurs to use that because entrepreneurs are very scrappy and they, they yeah. don't always need the whole amount to get stuff done. And so I say take what you get mm -hmm. and do as much as you can. With what you get. With what you get. And so it just depends on the website, actually, mm -hmm. and the website rules. You must know those going in. Otherwise, you will come out with a whole lot less money than you imagined. So now what about the person who is, you know, the person who is asking the tribe? Mm -hmm. What ought they need to know? Because now is it, is it like for Kickstarter, do they, are, are, are they familiar with or want one particular kind of crowdfunding? Mm -hmm. Or does Kickstarter want something else and Indiegogo mm -hmm. looks for something else? Yes, Kickstarter, uh, now all the websites tend to have a type. What? Kickstarter is more artsy, a little more artsy, and they don't approve everybody who puts a page up. So just because you ah. put it on there doesn't mean that they will say yes. Okay. They approve about 6 out of 10. So you have to That's make sure it's pretty good goal. odds, huh? Mm -hmm. Indiegogo can be used for anything. Uh, a lot of businesses go there. GoFundMe can be used for anything, but it has tend to become more of a personal somebody's funeral school somebody's personal whatever but see i'm like the guy with the t-shirt don't go to crowdfunding get some insurance mm -hmm. people are so terrified of getting life insurance and even even business owners we're going to take a break and we'll be back <laughs> 